Hello, this is Tech and Views team. Welcome back to another video on Team NT. In this next one, we're going to be taking another look back into the Team NT RW universe. And today's one, we're going to be looking at the sort of upcoming um, issue 125, which will be coming in January 2022 on January 12th. Well, that's for now, that could change as due to, well, most comics now being delayed by RW. It's exciting about that. But still, uh, with this one, it comes with a big new surprise in terms of the Tim and T universe. So, in January, we're going to be introduced to the Punk Frogs. So, originally, back in 2020, in issue 110, I'm pretty sure that was, was we got introduced, or got a, like, a name drop about uh, the uh, Punk Frogs, which was like a gang that was uh, seen spotted somewhere in Mutant Town. But we never actually got to see them or anything like that. It's only, it's only taken us up to this all point in time where, where we finally got to see them and now we've got a little description for the actual issue. So first I'd like to talk about the punk frogs. So first off you can see uh, seven of them on the cover which they look really interesting and cool. Never like the 80s design where they were just frogs that wore costumes and quite a bit different from the uh, 2012 ones which I feel like they're trying to combine the two where it's like a bigger tribe and more punk frogs but also making them more unique as like they never wore at, or never had tattoos but for some reason they're giving them uh, more like streetwear sort of costumes which I think that's an interesting sort of design but the tattoos or tattoos that's all going a bit too far for me so in terms of the punk frogs we've got the original four we've got Napoleon who's in the front We've got Tilla is in the bag, we've got Genghis with the axe, and then Rasputin, uh, who's he's, he's had a change with, with weapons, he's got a crossbow uh, in the back now, uh, which I think that might be a more unique uh, choice. I don't know, this, I don't think it's like anyone's gone against it, be like, oh my god, you've really gone out of your way to really destroy turtles or anything like that because you've uh, got a bow net or crossbow instead of bow. That, that doesn't really change too much, I feel like that would go over that uh, but there are some new uh, frogs which um, or as you can see there are new ones which some of them do have names and one of them has not been seen or has not had a uh, cameo yet which is not being drawn I mean uh, but she does have a name so these new frogs we do have uh, Zainton, uh, Zainton who had the spear we've got bloody uh, Mary who has the warhammer we've got Clyde uh, who's got I think it's the I think it's the one with the ball and chain on it so that's an interesting one. We also got a another, another character, or frog, I should say, called Bonnie. And according to uh, Sophie Campbell, she's apparently very special, but she's not uh, being shown anywhere. So there is potential for her to be like sort of sound like a queen or like the ruler for this gang in a way, or she could have something interesting about this character, but we don't exactly know or speculate just yet. So now in terms of the actual um, description for the uh, comic, it goes as uh, a sort of Mattel was coming face to face with a terrorist group punk frogs. Will Mutant Town crumble when the two sides collide? Meanwhile, a new villain emerged and the return of the Triceratops. A new era of Team and T starts here. Okay, so I should probably uh, break this down into groups of section. Uh, I think there's like three different sort of things we can talk about. The first one is the new Tim T or new Hero Tim T starts here. Now this could be a reference to the Armageddon event which is uh, supposed to come later within next year or the following years to come and it's supposed to be like a massive event so this could be the uh, beginning of that event but I'm not too sure if it's supposed to be leaning onto that but there is potential for that uh, I'm not too certain about it but with the whole new Hero Tim T that could really reference anything really in terms of stories or just anything really. So the return of Triceratons, it's all just making me wonder how much of the punk frogs are going to see in this issue or how much of a bigger threat they are going to be in this issue. But I feel like that's something to talk about later. Uh, but with the whole thing about a new villain emerges, I feel like there's only one possible option we can only talk about. Now, I don't think there's going to be a whole brand new villain they're going to set up. I mean, there could be an option, which I'm not ruling out, but I feel like my option might be more 
suitable in terms of what has come before and haven't been discussed yet. So the thing I'm talking about is Sherelle. Now you might know his character from the 2003 show, but he was introduced to the IDW comics just recently when Bishop stormed the Brunner Island and uh, they took a Sherelle out of status or out of like a coma sort of thing so that Sherelle could go into his bow armor and battle off uh, Bishop and win. And they did, or the Utrons won, and Triceratons won all that against Bishop, but the only thing is that we never got to see what happened afterwards. So within that like amount of time, because we've not seen or heard anything about the Utrons since that issue, and there's been a lot of stuff that's happened since then. So with um, a character and a villain uh, such as big a threat as uh, Shrell, who was even trying to put him in under, under status just due to him being powerful and crazy and insane, I feel like there's a lot of potential for this villain being the new like big bad of the series. And with Triceratons coming to um, Reason Town, I feel like that's like the big option or my biggest option to where I think this series could be heading towards. I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like that's where it's more likely to go. So now with the punk frogs, um, I've got my doubts with them now, just due to them only, well, now we're dealing with the Triceratons, I feel like the punk frogs are probably start off as like being a big threat to mutant town and all that, but then as the issue goes on, they really find out that, well, they're not that bad guys. When I talk things over, and then Triceratons come as other bad. Or the other option which I could see going down is just due to the fact that it could all go terribly wrong and go to a civil war and the punk frogs want to take over Mutant Town and uh, get rid of Sally and some like that. But who knows, with the Triceratons coming, they could all, or every, all the mutants could be in danger and now that the Triceratons are going to be going off to another invasion. Who knows with this series? I feel like there's a lot of potential. And not only with the most recent issue that just came out, which time of recording, which is 122, I feel like there's a lot of potential for this series in terms of where it's going. And with the punk frogs, I feel like he's one of those uh, sort of groups and characters where we like, just wait and see and we'll uh, truly see if they were worth the wait or not. Um, and yeah, that's really all I've got for this whole little talk thing. I don't know if this is going to be something that I'll be doing. Uh, every time a new comic comes or new description for a thing comes out, but I feel like I might keep doing this. As this is quite fun just to just think about what could happen and all that. But I do hope Sophie Campbell does a really amazing job at bringing these characters to life. As well, she did an okay job with Toko and Rasa. I don't see any difference why she can't do the same with these characters.